So this is the finished recipe, you all. This looks delicious. Mmm, mmm, yummy. Hi, you all. Welcome back to Shell's Kitchen. Back at you with another great video. I want to thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, today, you all, we will be making homemade shrimp fried rice. I figure we're all at home in the quarantine anyway. We might as well eat good. So today, I'm going to show you all how to make shrimp fried rice Shell's way. Another quick, simple, easy recipe. Let's get to it. All right, you all, so what you all, what you would need in order to make homemade shrimp fried rice, better than takeout, these are the ingredients you would need. Of course, you would need some shrimp. These are the shrimp that I will be using. I got me some green onion that I already chopped up. You can get your green onion where you get your regular onions from, onions, your bell peppers, where all the vegetables is. You can get green onions. This is about four green onions chopped up. Um, we also have rice. I just use regular rice, y'all, regular long grain rice. And what I did was I already boiled my rice previously. I boiled my rice earlier this morning and I put it in the refrigerator. So if you're gonna be making homemade shrimp fried rice and you know you're gonna be making it like tomorrow or later on today, if you can, go ahead and boil your rice and cook it, scoop it into a bowl and put it in the refrigerator because you want it to be kind of cool. Now, if you can't do that, I have done it to where I made the rice, like I boiled the rice and went right into making the shrimp fried rice. You could do it that way too. But the rice is just better once you put it in the refrigerator, let it cool for at least two hours and then pull it back out. And you guys will see once I start frying the rice. So this is the rice that I use, y'all. Just regular, always save rice. I get what's on sale. All right, you will need some ground ginger. And you will only just need a little bit of this. So you need some ground ginger. If you don't have none, you can find this at your local grocery store or just ask your mom or grandma or auntie, do they have some ginger? I'm pretty sure that they have some. You just need a half a tablespoon of this anyway. So if you don't wanna buy a whole one, just call mom to grandma, hey, you got some ginger? You know they got some ginger in that cabinet. All right, so we got ginger. You need some garlic. Um, I like to use the minced garlic that's already minced for me. Uh, the work is already done for me. You can also find this in your produce department as well where you find uh, like the, the whole uh, garlic cloves. You can find this right next to it. Um, you will also need some soy sauce. Um, if you can, get the low sodium soy sauce. Uh, this is just regular soy sauce that I've been having for a couple of weeks. Um, and it's just regular soy sauce. If you can, get the low sodium. Um, you will also need some vegetable oil. I just got some regular always say vegetable oil. You would need some sesame seed oil. And you can find the sesame seed oil and the soy sauce. You can find this in the oriental owl, y'all. Uh, y'all know that owl with all the, you know, different foods we don't eat. It's in that owl. Um, and yeah, this is um, sesame seed oil. You will need that. And you will also need eggs. Because in shrimp fried rice, eggs go in shrimp fried rice. Now, if you don't eat eggs, just disregard this part. You do not have to put eggs in it. Got my eggs here. And last but not least, I have my peas and carrots. Now, if you can also use fresh peas and carrots. Uh, you can chop up your carrots and, you know, use it fresh. Me, I just get it out the bag. Just plain, simple, straight to the point. All right, so we have all my ingredients here, y'all. We're going to go ahead and start cooking. I'm going to turn. Oh, last but not least, y'all, I'm going to use my, uh, my electric skillet for this recipe. Um, I like it because it's big. It's nonstick. Uh, everything can fit. And um, it's the closest thing that I have to a walk. So this is what I will be using for my shrimp fried rice. All right, so let's get started, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my electric skillet on to 300 here. 300. Got it on. What we're gonna do is go down with our oil. We're gonna do two tablespoons of your regular vegetable oil, or if you got canola oil, or if you like canola, canola oil, you can use canola oil as well. So we're gonna do two tablespoons of the uh, vegetable oil. And then we're also gonna do two tablespoons of the sesame seed oil. This is what really give it the Chinese taste, y'all. If y'all don't have this, then it's not, it's not gonna work. It's, it's not, it's not Chinese food. Y'all don't know what it is. All right, then we're gonna do two tablespoons of that. One, two, all right, got that in there working. 
Now what we're gonna do, y'all, we're gonna go down with our shrimp. Now, as y'all can see, the shrimp is already cooked. It's already pre-cooked. So um, we're just gonna um, just cook these for about two or three minutes on each side just to get them, just to get them warm, you know. So you just wanna put your shrimp in there like that. And you wanna let your shrimp cook for about two minutes on each side. If your shrimp is raw, meaning when I say raw, your shrimp will be gray. So if, you're, if you have the gray shrimp, that means that it's raw and it needs to cook. So you will cook it for about two minutes on each side as well too, and that shrimp will begin to turn pink. Once that shrimp is pink, that's when you know it's done. All right, so we just giving our shrimp a stir. Just like that. Cook a little bit. You really can't flip them with this thing I got. So I'm gonna do the best I can, y'all. My hands are clean. I'm just gonna flip them. You don't want to overcook your shrimp either, y'all, because if you overcook it, it will be rubbery and chewy. Nobody wants that. All right, so I'm gonna let this cook for like another minute. Then we're gonna take our shrimp back out. Let me grab another bowl uh, to transfer my shrimp into. Let me bowl here. All right, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and take my shrimp off because they will cook more once we add them back in with everything else. Got that done. Taking the shrimps out now, y'all. Ah. All right. And now that I have my shrimp out, I got to stir. We're gonna go down with our peas. And you're gonna need about a cup of your uh, peas and carrot mixture. Again, you can buy this right out the grocery store, peas and carrots together. They are, it is in the frozen aisle with all the frozen vegetables and everything. And just grab your bag of that. Again, you want like a, a cup. I'm gonna do a little bit more than a cup. Boom. So did that. We're gonna give it a stir. Let that cook down. So we're gonna go ahead and add our green onions as well. So in here we got our peas, our carrots, and green onions. I'm gonna give it a stir. Oh my God, it smells so good. The peas, carrots, and onions, y'all. Just these three together with the oil and the sesame seed oil. Oh my God, y'all. It's, it's, it smells like China City up in this world, y'all. You know how you pull up to the Chinese restaurant and then it smells all good? This is what it smells like. OMG, y'all, delicious. So what you wanna do is just let it cook down. Uh, me, I left my peas and carrots out for about an hour or so, so they're, they're frozen, but they're not. So some is frozen, some is not. So you just want to cook it down. Just like that. Cook it, cook it, cook it. All right, so let that uh, simmer for a little bit. recipes y'all where y'all think oh my god I can't make shrimp fried rice it's so hard it come from the restaurant y'all it's not hard at all we already did our shrimp we doing our peas and carrots 
uh, which the work is already done for us. Um, but if you want to chop up fresh carrots, you can, you can also do that as well. All right, so we done with that part. We, we did that. Get out. All right, did that. Next, what I'm going to do is add my eggs, y'all. My eggs, I already scrambled them. All right, so normally, y'all, with the eggs, what you would do when you pull your carrots and peas to the side, what you would do at this point is you would crack you two eggs, and you will go ahead and scramble. That's why I like to use this skillet, too, because it's big enough for me to do everything that I want to do. Um, but this is the point where you would pull all this to the side, and you would crack your eggs, and you would scramble them on this side, and then add it all together. But I already had my eggs cooked from a previous video, so we're going to use those eggs, and then just mix it all together. You got your eggs, your carrots, and peas all through there. All right, at this point, we're going to go ahead and add some ginger. Ooh. We're going to add a tablespoon of ginger. Uh, no, this, not, this is a half a teaspoon, y'all. I'm so sorry. We're going to use a half a teaspoon of ginger. That's all we need. And then we're going to go down with our garlic. Let me get that. Let me rinse this off. And I'm going to use two tablespoons of garlic. That went everywhere, y'all. All right, so I added my ginger and I added two tablespoons of my minced garlic. And y'all, it smells so good. I wish y'all could smell it through the camera or the computer or whatever device you're on your tablet. I wish y'all could smell this. All right, so now that we have all of that mixed, what we're gonna do, y'all, here is my rice. So y'all remember I told y'all, do not judge me. Yes, it's in a potato salad container. Y'all know how we do. Um, when I find well, good sturdy containers, I'll keep them for leftovers or stuff like this. So as y'all can see here, this is my rice that I made earlier today. Again, I just boiled my rice and once it was done, I put it in this bowl and I put it in the refrigerator and it chilled for about two and a half hours. Um, it can chill overnight. Like, uh, like I said, like for instance, if I knew I was cooking this tomorrow, I can make this like make it like I did and just leave it in the refrigerator all the way until tomorrow. So the rice can sit overnight. It can sit for a day, it can sit for two days. It's to your discretion. So now what we're gonna do is go down with some rice. I don't think I'm gonna use all the rice. Go down with your rice. Break it up, just like that turn. We're gonna let this cook down a little bit, y'all. Let it cook. So let's do a, a, a quick little recap. So we put our vegetable oil, we put our sesame seed oil, uh, we let our shrimp simmer in there. We took our shrimp off, then we added our peas and we added our carrots. We also added our ginger and we added our garlic. Added all of that and we also added the eggs. Now you get your rice. We are almost done, y'all. Got the rice in there. Now what we're gonna do is go down with some soy sauce. This is what makes your rice brown. This is how you get your rice brown. Because if you don't have soy sauce, then your rice will just be white. And it also give it a great flavor. So, and I'm gonna go down with three tablespoons of our soy sauce. You can use as much as you like, as much or as little as you like. So that was a little bit over three tablespoons. And you just wanna mix it in. Let's just mix everything together now, y'all. And we're gonna add our shrimp back in. Let's add the shrimp back. Making a little mess, it's okay. So good. And at this point, y'all, you just really want to mix it in really good. Just mix it up really, really good. I'm gonna get all that rice mixed in. There should not be no white rice at all once you get it all mixed together. And I guarantee you, your kids would love this, your husband, your wife, co-workers, um, this is a quick recipe 
um, for the middle of the week, you really don't feel like cooking. This is really easy. You just throw it all in the pot for real. And that's it. This is great for like a potluck at work. You want to bring something different, definitely just make it all up like this. And then you'll transfer it to a crock pot to take to work. And uh, girl, our boy, serve them some shrimp fried rice right at the potluck. And if you have watched my crab ragoon video, you can make the crab ragoon with your shrimp fried rice. And voila, you got Chinatown at your house. I think it's Chong. <laughs> and y'all, this is it. This is the shrimp fried rice. Me, I think I'm gonna add me a little bit more soy sauce to mine. So I like my rice to be a little darker. I like mine to be a little darker. So I'm going to add two more tablespoons of my uh, soy sauce. And that is it, y'all. This is how you make homemade shrimp fried rice from scratch. Especially with us in the quarantine, y'all. We got to eat good, y'all. And a lot of people, we're not trusting the fast foods right now. Especially the Chinese food restaurants. So why not make it yourself at home? Make it yourself. And it's so simple, so easy. And we are done. Look at that. Don't that look delicious, y'all? Say that don't look like you just went and got that from a Chinese food restaurant. You just went and picked this up. We got our shrimp all through it. We got our carrots and peas through there. We got our green onion. We got our sesame seed oil. We got our ginger. We got our garlic and our soy sauce. Real simple. Straight to the point. You can add whatever you want or take away whatever you want. You can add mushrooms. You can add scallops. You can add whatever you like. So just give me just a second and I'll be right back. We're gonna plate this and yeah, be right back. All right, so this is the finished product, you all. What I did at the end is I just added me a, um, some crushed red peppers to the top. You can also add it as you're cooking it. If you like it spicy, add you some crushed red peppers in there. Oh my God, delicious. And just add a kick to it, a kick of spice. So this is the finished recipe, you all. This looks delicious. Mmm, mmm, yummy. And then we're gonna go ahead and go in for a taste, y'all. Why not? Just glaze over that skillet. Y'all see that? Yummy. Y'all. Y'all need to make this recipe, y'all, for real. It tastes so good, y'all. Oh my God, I wish y'all could taste it. Even with the, the, the red peppers, I can taste the red peppers all through it. It's spicy, but not too spicy. It tastes so good, y'all. I can't wait to get off of this so I can tear this bowl up. Again, I wanna thank you all so much for watching. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please let me know if you liked the video, uh, what you think about the video. Please make sure you comment below. Uh, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to the video. I wanna thank you so much for watching. Thank you for tuning in, and I hope you all have a wonderful day, and make sure y'all be safe. Make sure you wash your hands, and just stay safe, y'all. Have a great day.